Let me show you how 14 seconds transforms our favourite supercar, the Ferrari 458 Italia, into something even more exotic. The 458 Spider. This is Ferrari's first ever mid-mounted convertible with a folding hardtop roof. And when deployed, the bark of the exhaust, the thrill of the speed, the wide open mouths of passers-by should all seem louder, faster, closer. But is it any better? Well, I have three major issues. The first, the roof won't open on the move, depriving predatory peacocks of displaying their feathers at will. Then this slim opening is more target top than fully open top. And finally, the biggest own goal of all. Under here is the current international engine of the year. Yet, drop the top and it's as hidden as the holy grail. Shame. The 4.5 litre V8 engine is exactly the same as in the normal 458. So you've got almost 550 brake horsepower and 440 pound foot of torque and 9,000 revs to play with. in the year, Ferrari upgraded the normal 458 to have an even more aggressive race mode than before. But they haven't given the Spider the same upgrade. Is that missed? No! Not to 62 remains unchanged from the 458 Italia at 3.4 seconds. But I have some bad news. Instead of doing 202 miles an hour, this car is slower. By four miles an hour. It's phenomenally quick, but has the roof destabilised the handling? When you chop a car's top off, the body becomes less rigid. Also, the aluminium hood here makes this car 50 kilograms heavier than the 458 Italia. To counteract this, Ferrari has beefed up the sills to make this connection stiffer, and these handsome humps become the car's rollover hoops. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, my God. Good enough about that. Oh, my God, that's really weird. Wow. I think I've just swept up in the whole romance of it all. A red Ferrari in Italy on mountain roads. I cannot fault this car's handling. The turning is so superb. Woohoo! Steer is progressive and nice and manageable. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to imagine any car making you feel more alive than this. The 458 Spider is out of this world. Of course, there's a price to pay, and it's a shade under £200,000, which is 25 grand more expensive than the Italia. But is it worth it? Well, if you want the most spine-tingling, exciting way to enjoy a Ferrari, then no motor deserves your money more. Wow.